Hello everyone, it's Aidan here and I am joined by Sam and Kyle. Hello guys. Hi. Hello. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the news that broke yesterday, which was Assassin's Creed Infinity, a live service Assassin's Creed game, which was a uh, story was broke by uh, Jason Schreier on Bloomberg and eventually, at least the existence of the project was acknowledged by Ubisoft in one of their little blogs. Uh, so yeah, live service Assassin's Creed, would you... Off the bat, what was your first impressions of this? Should have fucking acknowledged it with an apology on their blog. Like, <laughs> like something bad had leaked. They should be like, we're sorry that this came out. Ah, ah, that's, that's, that's Assassin's Creed, isn't it? <laughs> it's a so, game. It's coming out. <laughs> I am of two minds about this whole thing. Psycho. Be- because I think it did kind of make me roll my eyes hearing about the live service thing, because obviously everything's live service everything wants you to play it forever which obviously isn't possible um so that was a bit a bit annoying but then i'm also a fan of like the old multiplayer stuff from assassin's creed uh like yeah. the co-op stuff from unity the, the the multiplayer brotherhood but like if they if they manage to incorporate those and, and from what we were seeing about the report um it was going to incorporate different eras or settings from the different games into the one thing so like you could go you know between all of the different places within this live service like an evolving that... map kind of thing yeah i mean so like that could be cool. i think i think assassin's creed like the universe of assassin's creed with the whole thing with the what do you call it the abstergo and the the bed the tardis that you... the bed <laughs> the bed <laughs> i can't remember what it's the called. back of the box is like Desmond Miles is using the bed <laughs> with advanced technology. In, called is it the is bed. it called like the the Animus? Yeah, it's the uh, Animus. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Remember, it, it gets turned yeah, into like yeah. a game console on Assassin's got that Creed hot Four wall for that franchise. I haven't touched for about yeah. seven years. <laughs> yeah, so I think if you take something like that, I mean, yeah, like you've just touched on there, Black Flag done a really cool thing, of like basically making it the it was like a center where you could come in and experience your relatives, you know, history or like different places and time periods and stuff like that so i think if you had that and you're going right you can go to ancient egypt ancient greece uh what's the new one viking era england scotland and all this, 2012 like, <laughs> sc- <laughs> sc- <laughs> so like you can go to all these different places i think that sounds kind of interesting to me um i love i'm a sucker for these kind of like multiplayer games like I, I rarely get the time to play any of them, but I always just yeah. love the idea of it. I think that's um, the issue, though, with Assassin's Creed games. I mean, I, I know I haven't touched them for a while, but just looking at other people playing them, they seem like a huge time investment to get through. Mm-hmm. I don't know mm-hmm. how they're going to manage that if there's multiple like worlds that you can visit, and I'm assuming it's going to be different characters and stuff as well. That seems like a hell of a lot to manage as a live service game. And I just find it a bit odd that they're going that route as well, especially after fans seem to have responded quite well to the, like, the direction the franchise has gone, like from the kind of RPG like, elements they've gone for with Valhalla and, uh, and Odyssey, and now they've just changed it completely. Bit of an odd one. Yeah. yeah Valhalla mm. sold really well, apparently, it's from like all accounts. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I don't yeah, know, that it's strange that they'd be like, you know, this is usually like, oh, Assassin's Creed's been off the grid for a couple of years, that like, we're coming back with a reboot. Oh, I service. It's like, okay. Um, so I mentioned as well that part of the story that broke was basically that the the, the scumbags who work at Ubisoft mm-hmm. who were accused of uh, basically lots but misconduct we'll say uh, are still in their well they're in different positions at Ubisoft but they're still in very high well I mean they still work there like and just cut to the chase yeah. as well yeah yeah so mm-hmm. I mean that's the thing like although just... like, a part of me is like oh yeah, this could be good but it's like I just I've, I've, I've fucking had it up to here with Ubisoft, like setting aside their scumbag practices like, in games and outside of games. I just don't trust Ubisoft to do anything good with any game that they do. <laughs> they are. I'm so, I think Ubisoft are one of the fucking worst game publishers out at the moment. They make dog shit games <laughs> year after year. I'm raging because beyond good, I've been playing Rayman 3, right? That game's sick. And when that starts off, like, oh, Ubisoft, I'm like, fuck off, bullshit. This is the same company that's making Watch Dogs Legion. We're fucking dead sick. That Pish. game brought us together, though. Oh, mate, that was good. That felt really good. Oh. <laughs> that game was a, a unity you could see. Yeah, so, oh, God. Yeah, we, uh, we owe Ubisoft. 49p our... on Hot Deals UK. <laughs> <laughs> Not sponsored. Not sponsored. 
<laughs> I mean, uni might be the groundwork for what I like. I mean, like, after my rants out the way, um, I I Brotherhood Online was good. I've not played Unity Co-op. Maybe me and Aaron need to hop into that. Maybe that's a wee yeah. jumping into plug. Oh uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, a horrific rant aside, it's just like even so, like Crash Bandicoot, uh, the remake of that of that that came out, the online of that became like live servicey in a way because like there were new skins every day. You had to grind, and it, yeah, I hate games that feel like jobs. Um, mm-hmm. And so many games, and I get, I think if you find the game that like you really hit, hits nail in the head, it's oh, this is it. This is such a good light. Like you know, that's destiny for a lot of people, stuff like that. But I just like if they came out like, oh, we're making a multiplayer Assassin's Creed game. Fine, but it's fine. So we're making a Assassin's Creed game that's gonna last until twenty forty nine. We're all fucking dead. It's gonna be new maps every <laughs> week. It's just, it's so unappealing to me. I think that's the thing, they just need to commit to one direction because, like, the Assassin's Creed games are known by having like a single player narrative, and that's kind of the bread and butter of it. With this, if it's going to be multiplayer and have story and everything interweave, it sounds like they're like, putting too many like cooks in the kitchen kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Does it, anyone know what's happening in the story in Assassin's Creed now? Like, anyone in this planet? I so haven't. I haven't even. Uh, I got to the title sequence, the title card for Valhalla, so I'm not really sure about that. I know uh, I didn't complete Odyssey or or no. despite putting in dozens yeah, of hours. Yeah, put fifty each. hours in Odyssey and didn't even get halfway through. Yeah, I think well, that's that's the thing that I find a little odd about it because like people have really liked the the way that they've been going into the kind of RPG elements, but I think people have also had an issue with how bloated the games have become. Uh, because like Assassin's Creed Valhalla is what like in a hundred a hundred hour game probably Some like if you're that. just kind of you know pottering about between different side missions and stuff like that. I mean I've seen people that will say like I'm max out the game after three hundred hours like, like that's insane I don't need a game to be three hundred you know how long it would take me to complete three hundred hour game I would literally it would be the only game I'd play for so so long and I think the thing that they really need to do with an Assassin's Creed live service game is streamline it really well to the point that they can uh, they can get more casual players like myself because like I'm like a, ga- a gamer I play games all the time right <laughs> but I'm not like I play so many different games I don't have the time really to dedicate myself fully to one that is like you're saying like a job yeah but I, th- I think Though they have kind of naturally been working their way towards this model, because if you do look at Odyssey or Valhalla or uh, a little bit with Origins, but like these were games that they didn't want you to just play and then be done with. Like they've, uh, and I think they've actually done a pretty good job of this with Valhalla and Odyssey, like keeping them relevant for past their 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 like initial launch. Because like you get the different DLC uh, with Odyssey, I know the stuff had been pretty well received. They the, the Ireland based Valhalla one was kind of uh, I think that was well received and then they've got one the Siege of Paris coming up but they also do kind of like weekly challenges and stuff like that in this game already um, at least with Odyssey so like I think they were always kind of naturally working their way towards this and I think by making it I think this is an easier solution for them in a way because like rather than saying we're going to build this massive giant game and then we have to add on to, you know, live service games quite often, like with Destiny, The Division, and No Man's Sky, or whatever, have always started out like really, really bare bones and then worked their way up. And I think that's probably, yeah, I can imagine kind of what they're thinking with also the added bonus that they can base a lot of their work off of. If it's got different settings, they're just implementing the map from Valhalla or Odyssey or Origins or Unity, you know, and they're just kind of doing it like that, which I think. How big is the file going to be? Jesus, oh, mate. <laughs> I am curious because, like, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, are the Assassin's Creed games still annual or are they like every two years? No, they're every two like years now. Every two years. Two, uh, so I'm curious, like, whether this live service game will be the next instalment or whether we'll get an actual, like, similar to Valhalla kind of game next and then the live service one. I think we'll be probably mm. both. I will get. Is, it, like, is this game going to be free? <laughs> No. Yeah, well, <laughs> no. I think I think there's a possibility because Ubisoft did say that they were talking about leaning more into high-end AAA, uh, free-to-play titles. Sorry, 
uh, kind of like this um, because they wanted to emulate the success of Fortnite and uh, GTA Online. Yeah. So I, 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 I like how they say that so casually. Yeah, we're going to just emulate the success <laughs> of two of the biggest games ever created by like two geniuses <laughs> of like marketing and understanding. I. Is there any more out of touch game company than Ubisoft? Like, I'm not saying Rockstar are fucking perfect, but it's like Rockstar and Ubisoft are like apples and oranges, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, what what I have the the, the kind of the thing is, I think this has been overwhelmingly received like in a negative light. But yeah, as much as I want to say that, I know for a fact as soon as the gameplay review comes out, as soon as the dates are released, such like, a I'm shell. Like, I know. I'm gonna buy that day one. I am. I am. That's the thing. Like, I entirely agree with you with all the things you're talking about with Ubisoft. But I will buy almost every <laughs> Ubisoft game <laughs> at the same time. Which, <laughs> even though we all like unanimously did not like Watch Dogs Legion, it then, still like, has yeah. a soft spot in our hearts. Just, I, I mean, it's yeah, the closest that's, I like, can that's... get to the getaway on a next gen console. <laughs> dead set. I got this. I'm dead set. I'm 80 years old. And I'm a hacker. <laughs> I'm an influencer, yeah? <laughs> that was... Uh, I think it was the YouTube person was the hardest person to find on Legion. Because at one point I was going for the platinum on it. But... It's because they don't exist, mate. They're not real in this alternate universe. It's construction or social media influencer. It's just Stormzy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought he was in it. King. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I think, I think we should be wrapping up there. But will you buy this no um, I'll buy it I'll buy it if it's free like it, I think Ubisoft Play whatever it's called needs to get put in Game Pass I mean the fact they've got a subscription service is absolutely ridiculous that's how I played Watch Dogs Legion I signed up for a week trial and cancelled it so I mean a bit of shit oh, that yeah. I had to try and finish Watch Dogs Legion in a week that was horrible but um, <laughs> nah I, put, 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 it, fuck it, put it on Game Pass put everyone on Game Pass Game Pass Game Pass we're all Xbox shells now <laughs> Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, what about you? Uh, is that you're the, the same, Sam? I'm, I'm probably not going to buy it, and even if it's free, it's, it's very slim chances I'll probably touch it. I just, I don't know. I've not, I, I struggle might... to get into that, the Assassin's Creed franchise. I don't know what it is. I think it is just the same shit. Like, I th- <laughs> like, see, Valhalla, I genuinely, from the first day that I uh, spoke to you guys, I was like, yeah, man, Valhalla, I can't wait to get into it. It's just sitting here, so and dull. it's still it's still sitting here. Because well, I played the intro, and then it was mm. just like, fuck, man, this is really overwhelming. Yeah, like, There's a I, lot of stuff in this. I don't want to keep the conversation going for another half hour. Like, I really yeah. like Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I think it's a good game. It's, I think it's like a fun world, but it's just it's, it already feels like a live service game in some ways because it's just busy work for hours yeah, and hours exactly. and hours and I know that scratches mm-hmm. an itch and that's probably why I played it for 50 hours because it really does scratch that itch of just like doing a checklist but and I know most I mean even when I went back and played 4 in the Ezio collection it's not like the formula has changed that much they've always been in some ways checklist games when it's just markers on a world and it's like do this do this but I feel like it's just I don't know I feel like it was fun back like, when I, I bought the Ezio collection and I started playing it for an hour and I was just already bored I, just, I was like, there's no chance I'm going to play three of these back to back. If they had the online, I mean, yeah, like I like Brotherhood online when I was 14. Um, maybe I would still like it. So I, I just don't know. They've got a lot to prove. And I think hopefully they know that. But also scumbags. So I, <laughs> what can you do? Yeah. Well, that about does it, I think. Thanks for joining me, guys. Pleasure. And... Right. thank you if you've made it this far into the video thank you and to go that one step further give a wee like subscribe to the channel uh, and we'll be back with more content keep it here on jump cut play see you guys later